Hello everyone and I hope you're doing very well. Today we're in the F-16C and we're looking at basic TACAN navigation. TACAN, tactical air navigation, is for military use. It allows you in your military aircraft to navigate to, in all weather, wherever a TACAN station is. That TACAN station would usually be at an airfield or on an aircraft carrier or on an air-to-air -air refueler. And you do also have portable TACAN stations, but I don't think we've got any in DCS at the moment. So today we're going to navigate to this TACAN station here. We're in the Persian Gulf at the moment. This is the general sign, a kind of triangle for a TACAN station. The equivalent of a TACAN station for a civilian base would be VOR. Uh, we have a VOR station there for a civilian base. We have a VOR station there with DME, distance measuring equipment, there. Uh, at another civilian base, out of interest, VOR, very high frequency, omnidirectional ranging. And this, I believe, is an interesting one. This is actually called, it's not actually a TACAN, it's a VORTAC, I believe they're called. And this is the first one I've ever seen uh, in DCS. It is a combined military TACAN with civilian VOR. Its radio transmission frequency is 114.90 MHz. Its call sign is Mike Alpha, and its TACAN channel is 96, presumably 96 X ray. So, the way the TACAN channel works is a number followed by either an X ray or a Yankee. If the X ray or Yankee is not shown, it's usually defaults to X ray. So, TACAN 96 X ray is where we're going today. Here we are, and we're traveling in. Let me just draw a line that direction there. So what we can do is we can navigate directly to this TACAN station. That's not enough for us because we want to land, which means we want to come in on a certain course line known as the runway radial. So we want to come the opposite of what I'm drawing this line, basically. So we can come in at that angle on the runway radial for landing. So we're going to measure the runway. We can see roughly it's 13 there, 130, but we want a better measurement than that. And bear in mind, we're getting a true heading, and that is what our F-16 EGI system uh, is going to work on anyway, and our TACAN system. We've got one, two, seven degrees, you can see, at the top there. Now we're going to go and jump in our aircraft, set the TACAN system up, and learn how to read it. So off we go. Our DED is currently on its homepage, the CNI comms navigation IFF. We can see at the bottom left here, TACAN is currently tuned to one X-ray. That's the station. That's no good for us. We're going to have to change it. Let's click on the TACAN ILS button there. We get to change TACAN here. ILS here. First of all is the mode. We change that with the DCS switch sequence. We get receive, transmit receive and air to air transmit receive. I'm just going to pause it there. Receive means that we receive only, we do not transmit. This allows us to get the bearing or the direction of the TACAN station but not the range. Transmit receive means that we can get the bearing and the range to the TACAN station. Air-to-air -air transmit receive means we can get, again, the bearing and the range, and this is, in this case, for air-to-air, -air, so that would be a TACAN station that is on a aircraft. So we're going to use transmit receive. Next, we need to tune the station. To do that, we're going to use the DCS switch down. We've now got selected the TACAN station, currently one. Very simple case of typing in 96, enter. So it's now tuned in to beacon call sign MA. So we can confirm that that is indeed the TACAN station or the VORTAC that we've tuned into. It's the correct one, basically. Out of interest, I'll also turn the TACAN volume up because if for some reason we need to tune audibly, it will trans... That hit sound you hear there. That there was transmitted from the TACAN station, the VORTAC station. That is Morse code for its call sign. So what you do is you go on Google or whatever and translate that Morse code, the dashes and the dots, and you'll find that it will come up with Mike Alpha. So that's another way of confirming you've got the right station tune. Out of interest, we can change the band. Currently in X-Ray, we're going to go press the M cell here. And you see we've now tuned it to Yankee, hence we get no more signal. Change it back, we're tuned into Beacon MA, and we will have the signal come through. So that's us tuned in with Transmit Receive. Now, as it stands at least, we do not have navigation information available on the HUD or the HSD for TACAM. That may change in the future, we're not sure, but at least for the moment, we must use the HSI. So let's go through the HSI. So currently the HSI is set up to our primary method of navigation, that is EGI, which means GPS and INS. We need to change that to TACAM. So we're going to click on our mic button here. That's ILS, that's TACAM, TCN down here. It's now telling us how to get to the TACAN station. It is at 
22.3 nautical miles. It is in that direction where the bearing pointer is. The idea is we want to turn right so that the bearing pointer here becomes at our 12 o'clock position there. But that's enough, not enough. We want to get on our course for our radial, remember. So we now need to set our course. Going down to course here, mouse scroll wheel. And it was 127 degrees. That's 127 degrees. So that is our course line there. That is our bearing pointer there. That is our current heading there. That is our course deviation line. It's telling us we need to basically push left of the uh, current course to get onto the course line. So uh, it's going to be easier if I just show you rather than trying to explain this. What we want to do is first push left so that this course deviation line centers with the course pointer. Once we've got that, we then want to align the course pointer here with the bearing line with the 12 o'clock position so that that and that are all perfectly aligned in this 12 o'clock position sounds complicated it's actually very easy so we'll use our flight instruments now to navigate onto the radial so I'm gonna unpause and off we go everything we need here to fly and even land the plane so the first thing is the airfield is off to our right here but we don't want to go right yet we want to align the course deviation line with the course pointer that's the first thing we've got to do so if we're going to head north for that the more north we head for that the quicker it's going to align keep an eye on our ADI to keep roughly center we're not going to do an actual landing here because we're going to leave that for an IFR uh, TACAN video so you can see we now almost have course deviation alignment we're going to start turning now. We don't want to overshoot the deviation line, so we're now going to start turning in. And we want to arrest our turn just as the deviation pointer, the deviation line, aligns. And you can see that's going to align naturally now with the bearing pointer to the station. And now we just pull and align all three with the 12 o'clock position with our nose. That's for a first attempt, that's not actually that bad. We've slightly overshot. Okay, level out, neutralize the ADI, and what we'll see now is that if we look up, I know it's not perfect, but it's uh, near enough now, look, if you look in front of us, there's the airfield, and we're coming in on the uh, correct radial. You'll notice we're ever so slightly out, uh, ever so slightly, that's either because of, I've not quite got this aligned here, or it may be that this magnetic um, bearing here of the drivers the HSI is not perfectly aligned with what we call the true heading or the true course uh, on the F10 map so that's something we'll figure out another time but for all intents and purposes that's going to take us to the runway and we might as well follow it through now um, got far enough we're ever so slightly to the left so I'm going to go right ever so slightly and then turn back in that course line is perfect which is about there and now we get the all bearing pointer get all two both pointers online you can see that's taken us pretty much perfectly to the runway and I could I could basically land that if I wanted to so that's it that's TACAM if you're going to use air to air mode uh, then that's what you use for an air to air refueler obviously that's how you do it so you confirm the station with MA or the Morse code audio there that's how we use our course line to get on a radial or similar to a certain bearing you can see we've gone over the top of it now and it's switched around so we're now we're facing the reciprocal heading that's all i want to say i hope that was useful see you later